is the AWS Cloud Solutions Architect Professional Certificate actually worth it? It is known as the number one course out there for those looking to gain cloud skills and get hired even if you have no prior experience. But today I want to see if it actually lives up to all the hype. Now they claim that you'll gain the skills and knowledge to design architecture solutions on AWS and also prepare for your AWS Certified Solutions Architect Certification Exam. But the main thing that everybody wants to know is that if it can actually help you get a job. So I'm going to start by covering the time to complete the certificate, the cost and you know all the basic details. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of this one compared to other options when you're looking to learn these skills because they are really high paying but you only have so much time to learn all of these cloud skills so you really want to pick the best courses out there and the courses that you pick are really really important. Now AWS stands for Amazon Web Services and it's basically Amazon's cloud computing platform. Cloud computing is a solution to provide companies with all sorts of resources, and that includes, you know, storage, computing power, databases, and so much more, all available on the cloud. Some of the reasons why companies love these cloud solutions is because they don't have to set everything up themselves, and they can actually save a lot of time by not having to do so, and also money, of course, plus the fact that they can also scale up and down as they actually need this. Now, this course is supposed to work as kind of an entry-level access point for people to become a solutions architect working with AWS and helping companies use Amazon Web Services. It's taught in English and it's of course by Amazon, which is pretty good as well. You're actually learning straight from the source. It is intermediate level, but if you actually look at the experience required, well, then there is no experience required. And all that means is basically that Coursera, they think that this one is a little bit harder than their other programs, that it's generally speaking more difficult and more technical, but it's still kind of at the entry level. Now, if we talk about the specifics, it is two months at 10 hours a week and the price is usually 50 bucks a month of course depending on your country but it's included in the Coursera Plus subscription. I've taken a ton of courses on this platform all under the one same subscription and I think it's definitely worth it especially if you take you know multiple courses at once because it doesn't really cost any more money it's just the same thing even if you get like 10 courses or one course you're still paying the same monthly fee but they do also offer financial aid for those who need it as well. Now the skills you'll gain from this one are data lakes, AWS management console, certification preparation, well basically preparing you for the cert, and cloud architecture and also specifically the architecture for AWS or Amazon Web Services. Now once you complete the course you'll get two different achievements and one is basically a certificate at the end which you get automatically if you take the course. Those ones are not super valuable. I think it's more nice to have and of course you can add them to your LinkedIn profile but it's more supposed to be kind of there for motivation. The real value is the industry certification which you can get if you want to. Now if we click on learn more here you will actually see that this certificate on Coursera will help you prepare for the industry recognized AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. Now this one is really valuable actually because you schedule an exam which takes around 130 minutes and I think the price is around 150 bucks. I'm not sure if they offer like discounts for specific countries or financial aid. You might want to check that out as well. Anyway, the exam has 65 questions which are either multiple choice or multiple responses and you can take it completely online which is amazing. But if you want to you could also go to a you know physical test center if you prefer the old way of taking the exam, the good old you know traditional paper and pen. But now before we look at all the details of the course, let's take a look at the career resources they offer. And Coursera, they will they offer resume reviews through a resume tool that students get access to. You basically upload your resume and it's going to check the resume for you to see how you can improve. And one tool that I've actually used myself, which is also available, is their mock interview platform. I think it's called Big Interview. And you basically sit in front of a screen and you go through some common like interview questions and scenarios. And the more you practice, the better and more comfortable you'll feel during an interview, kind of like with everything. So access to this platform for practice is definitely a plus. Now, they also have some kind of job search guide, but I haven't really seen any, anyone actually use that. Um, so you can look into that if you're interested. All right, so now let's take a look at the courses. First, we have the AWS Cloud Technical Essentials, and it's 25 hours and has a 4.8 rating out of 5, so that's very good. You'll describe terms and concepts related to AWS, learn about different security measures and kind of just understand what AWS actually offers to companies. That's pretty good to know because that's what you're going to be teaching the companies about. So it's a good idea to know that yourself. Next, we have 21 hours of architecting solutions on AWS. 
you learn about software architecture, data analysis, data visualization, and also just some general stuff about accounts with AWS. Next course is all about introduction to data lakes on AWS, and it's 14 hours. You learn what a data lake actually is, where to start, and how to build a secure and scalable one in AWS. And that's pretty much it. Now, the final course of this one is all about exam preparation, because it's the exam that we talked about before, the certification. But now let's get into the pros and cons. And just right away, I will say that the certification is a huge plus. There are many courses that teach you things, but there are very few courses that actually prepare you for a real, you know, valuable certification exam by Amazon. If you compare two completely equal candidates, although that would be very unlikely, likely and one has a certification and one doesn't have a certification then it's pretty clear who wins the next thing is that cloud skills are highly in demand and very useful and can help you advance in your career fast as well and this course is really affordable it's easy to get started with and it's relatively short for all the good things that you're going to learn the only downside i see is that it's perhaps not something that you're actually ready for i mean cloud skills are great but you should have a reason to why you're learning aws like what kind of job are you looking for do you actually need the skill and also consider what other skills you need to learn to be able to get to that job perhaps for you it's a good idea to take this course and also some other course to you know add skills together Regardless, I think it's a great course and I wish you good luck with everything and thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.